Hey everybody, welcome back to another reaction video. Hope you're doing well. My name is Todd. This is Peter and Olivia from the TV show Fringe Destiny. This was requested by a ToddReacts.com member. You two can join today. Link down below in the description will get you there. Go like the video if you like it. Subscribe to the channel if you're new here. Hit that notification bell. That way you know when videos post immediately. You can come check it out. And let's go. Hi. Hi. Who's Peter? Hi. I was important to you, wasn't I? Is he one of your friends? Because I see the way you look at me when you think that I'm not aware. Peter Bishop? My name's Peter. Olivia Dunham. Hans Olivia. And do your son and the girl know each other? No, he, he's not from here. It must be nice to know who you are. To know your place in the world. I'm not from here, am I? You don't belong here. You're not from this world, Olivia. I think young Olivia may have crossed over. I went somewhere. I went somewhere. If I'm right, oh, geez. she has. Then she can take Peter home. This all began because a man came over here to save a boy. His name is Peter. And 25 years later, I came back to save that same boy. He's sort of the reason I'm here. Of the 30 children that William Bell and I experimented on, you were the first with the ability to identify things from the other side. We gave you the ability. Was it me who described it as a glimmer? Peter, you glimmered. Destiny. Fate. Ask yourself why they picked you. I like to believe that nothing just happens. What did you do to me? That every event has some meaning. The picture of me and the device, what does it mean? Some sort of message. You are important. It's you. What is happening? I did not know they were from somewhere else or experience, experiments were run on them. Like, this is... I've seen Fringe videos before, but it's been so long that I can't remember anything. To me. What's going to happen to me? Whatever's happening between the two universes, whatever our fate is, I'm right at the center of it. The new energy source. It's me. Me. I just didn't think that I was destined for something else. Is that my destiny? My fate? There's something that I have to do in it. I think this is what I'm supposed to do. I think that our lives may depend on it. Whose lives? <laughs> Everyone's. One, two. He said sometimes what we wake up can't oh. be put back to sleep. I wonder if he was right. <laughs> I know you think you're alone in this. I need to do this. There's no other way. But this isn't just your fight. Naina and Kalinta are about to I'm definitely looking up to some information after this. And then keep your people close. I know you all are going to help in the comments, but I got to look care at something. Who cares about me? I want to know who's next. I care about you. Well, you're good at that. I've never met anyone who can do the things that you do. What was that? How did you do that? Disability. What finally activated? The only person that this has ever worked with is Peter. The Cortex a fan. My abilities, it's only ever worked when I've been around him. Olivia, if you need me. I got you. I got you. You're okay. I'm here. I'm here. I know. The unique combination of blood and terror does stimulate cortical reaction. It may be the key to our crossing over. Olivia is a living uncertainty engine. Every breath she takes brings us closer to Nirvana. Every beat of her heart tears the world from its hinges. She is a redeemer. So you would sacrifice one for the other. I'm telling you, that man will kill you. They said I'm going to live here for peace. After thousands of others, it would have to be considered. You say, oh, in every gosh. version of the future, 
I would have to die. I'm sure you want to do this. Peter, what other choice do we have? Both feet in. That's what we said. We're playing the odds, Peter. I mean, what do you really think our chances are of having a normal life? No. No. It's gonna be okay. It's okay, Olivia. Normal life? Yeah, I think that's out the window, honestly. You know, for the first time, I don't think that it is. Whoa. I don't think there's anything sadder than when two people are meant to be together and something intervenes. And what if I lose you two? What then? I keep waking up and thinking that I'm dreaming this terrible thing and then I realize that it's not a dream. You're not real. <laughs> Wake up. It's life. I was a race. I never thought I'd see you again, Olivia. You. How long have we known each other, Olivia? It's like I've known him my entire life. Peter. I've always thought there are people who leave an indelible mark on your soul. Olivia, worse for wear there. An imprint that can never be erased. Underestimated his attachment self of there. Had infected in the girl. Look at Peter, I, I, I'm in love with you, and I, I can't just, just turn that off now. I don't want to lose you. You have to come back. Look at me. She gave me a place to call. I love you because you belong with me. A place I'd want to go. Damn. Damn. I want you to come home. Right That's in the I fields. Back for, you. for us. I will not lose you again, Olivia. I never want to lose you again. I'm not going to lose you again. I am here. The fact that I am here has got nothing to do with anything except feeling. And I'm the part of you that you have to hold on to. I love you. I love you. I love you too. But whatever I'm scared. this is, whatever the cause, I told you I'm not scared. <laughs> Damn, that was very sweet. Beautiful edit. Wow. It has been a minute since I've seen anything fringe related, as I said. So I'm definitely going to look up some information right now because <laughs> I'm a little lost. Link down below in the description for the original video. Go throw it some love. All right, so Olivia starts off the series with John. When he gets injured, she tracks down Walter to a mental institution and needs Peter, his son, to get him out. She finds Peter in Iraq, instantly seem to take a dislike to each other. He refuses to do what she says, so she threatens him with a fake FBI profile to make him stay. He also calls her sweetheart, which she really doesn't like. <laughs> Many times Peter goes to leave, but she eventually convinces Peter to stay with the French team. The two eventually form a friendship. Olivia is starting to get over the death of John. However, it's pretty clear that Peter is starting to develop feelings for Olivia once she gets out of the tank in Walter's lab while getting out of the state the tank put her in. She breathlessly says his name and hugs in his side. When Peter tells Olivia, if you need me, I'm here. We saw that a couple times. And then Walter tells Olivia, Peter was worried when she was taken. Season two is essential in the relationship. Throws you right in with Olivia dying in the hospital and Peter doing all he can to avoid seeing her die. He's visibly upset. He eventually goes to say bye to her and leans in to kiss her head before she wakes up and she starts asking him immediately. <laughs> Olivia keeps the fact that Peter is from an alternate universe hidden from him and Peter thinks the reason she is acting strange is because they nearly kissed. When Peter eventually finds out and leaves, Olivia seems to act a bit more downhearted. Shared their first kiss... Olivia goes back to work. Peter feels bad about the relationship he's shared with the alternate Olivia. I thought she was you. Oh my gosh. We finally get the relationship we wanted from Fringe. And what season was that? I guess that was season three. It's been a decade since the show ended, which is crazy. Because I remember my dad watching this show when it was on. The team uses fringe science and FBI investigative techniques to investigate a series of unexplained, often ghastly occurrences, which are related to mysteries surrounding a parallel universe. Gotcha. 
As I said, I remember my dad watching this show pretty religiously when it came on. It always looked interesting, but I just never had the time. And honestly, I don't think uh, I don't think we really had like DVR or anything. So if you missed the episodes, you had to wait for it to come out on DVD. So by that point, I mean, I was never one to buy collections of shows on DVD. But uh, as soon as like On Demand came out, I was all over that. But of course, by the time that came out, there was other shows and it's just, yeah. <laughs> shows pile on other shows, pile on other shows. How many of you have like a Netflix or whatever service you use list of things to watch and it just gets longer and longer and longer? Seems like a very complicated relationship. It's nice that they uh, eventually got together and it gave everybody what they were looking for, which is good. A lot of shows kind of tease it for a while and then either it works out or it doesn't, but they like to drag that stuff out. They know, all right, we're gonna put these two people together, but we're gonna make it agonizing. So any fan of this show is just gonna be absolutely like writing us hate letters and hate tweets and everything. Although I don't remember much of the other videos, if at all anything, blame it on the 800 videos on this channel in two years. But uh, I do, I am a fan of any sort of investigation revolving supernatural or paranormal or alien or whatever. Sci-fi shows are generally the more entertaining. Although recently, obviously with the likes of Game of Although recently, obviously with the likes of Game of Thrones and stuff like that, obviously fantasy has kind of been propped up a little bit, but something about a good sci-fi show. I mean, we're all stuck in the modern day, so anything to get us out of that and into this different universe, alternate universe, if you will, is enjoyable and certainly welcomed. Speaking of alien show, shouldn't the X-Files make a return right about now? <laughs> I've been thinking about that for the last week and a half after, you know, what has been come, coming to light and confessed and proclaimed. It just, it makes perfect sense that they'd bring it back. Obviously they already did in 2016 and 2018, I think, with the, uh, the reboot couple episodes here. I think it was like 12 episodes. But yeah, honestly, they could do that from here until eternity at this point. I know I'm not the only person to think bring back the X-Files permanently. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that video as much as I did. Let me know any sort of context or anything you think I should know down below in the comments. I appreciate it. Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate your time as well. I will see you on the next one. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.